There's still a lot of uncertainty around the situation in Afghanistan. But one thing is known. The Taliban are in charge. So who are they? The Taliban was formed in 1994, after the Soviet withdrawal. And while the group didn't exist during that conflict, many of their leaders fought alongside the Mujahideen. They have had some international support, namely from Pakistan. But for the most part, the Taliban are an Afghan group, made up mostly of Pashtuns. There's a lot of different ethnicities in Afghanistan, with the Pashtuns being the largest. And historically, they've held a majority in the areas of this map that are light purple, like here, around Kandahar. When they first came to power, pushing out local warlords, they were somewhat welcomed, at least for a bit. I mean, they made an effort to stamp out corruption, made the roads safe to travel on, but it came at a cost. The Taliban's high-level goal was to establish the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan and implement Sharia law, which they would enforce in pretty brutal ways. Not everyone was on board. I mean, there were Pashtuns that didn't support the Taliban, but also Uzbeks, Nuristanis, and others that did. Probably the most well-known opposition figure was Ahmed Shah Massoud, the Lion of Panjshir, who led the Northern Alliance against Taliban forces until his assassination two days before 9-11. When the formal Taliban government fell after the US and NATO invasion, some senior leaders fled, but many stayed, and kicked off an insurgency. Over the last 20 years in some provinces, they maintained real power, setting up shadow governments that would settle disputes, dole out punishments, seen by many as more effective than the Afghan government. But what about Al-Qaeda? I mean, the Taliban did harbor this terrorist organization and fought alongside each other at the start of the war, but they're far from best buds. Remember, the Taliban are largely focused within Afghanistan, whereas Al-Qaeda's goal is a little more global. So many Taliban leaders were frustrated after 9-11 that it brought on unwanted attention, without which they could be going on 30 years of rule. And this doesn't make the Taliban an ally, but it does show how complicated the area is. In recent years, they've even fought the Islamic State as they try to expand into eastern Afghanistan. So what does this mean for the people of Afghanistan? Are we going to see the old, brutal Taliban or something else? I mean, it's been 20 years since they really held power. I don't know. For me, there's still too many moving parts to really know for sure.